This is Dabu 7, an update to what's going on in Hawaii. As the volcano there is still spewing massive amounts of lava, and they've had other fissures that are active, and the talk of this VOG being released into the atmosphere. And then we have two wells that were at the Puna site that I talked about before that they're saying are secure at the moment, but they have been either covered or encountered by this lava at some point. And they had capped these wells with really thick steel, but they even admitted that uh, certain temperatures will peel that back. And this is a look here at that site, as you can see. The lava has crept up on the ground all the way around here in this region, right here and here. And it's something they're just going to have to keep an eye on. Now, if you look up here, you can see the red hot flow is still making its way in down toward here. So this is a not so good spot for this plant at this point because it looks like it just wants to continue to flow in this direction. It's doing so slowly, but nonetheless, it's still advancing in certain regions, even though they're saying at this point they're labeling it as secure. At any time, one good surge could send more into other directions, but the good thing at this point is we haven't seen any explosions. Some of the fears of a potential lethal or toxic explosion have to do with a hydrogen sulfide explosion. That's how they explain it. So, at this point, all one can really do is keep an eye on the situation again, uh, and I'll continue to update as we hear of any other big events, but ongoing activity here on the daily. And one of the biggest concerns here is this geothermal power plant. So if things change here within the next 24, 48 hours, I'll keep you guys posted and I'll leave links below. This has been Dabu7. Peace.